Hello, everyone. So this is the um, Delta Math assignment that you guys have for October 23rd. <clears throat> and you guys are going to graph some lines. The pattern that this is in, the style that this is in, is slope-intercept form. Okay. It's 1y equals the stuff. Okay. It's not, if you had 3y equals the stuff, it's not in slope-intercept form. Now, none of them are going to have this with the 3 in front. I'm just explaining that it's very specific. It's 1y equals that stuff. M, as I shared with you on the first day, that's the slope. So the only thing new that you have to learn for today is what that is. B is your y-intercept. And an intercept is where something crosses. This is your y-axis. This is your x-axis. The horizontal axis is x, the vertical axis is y. The b is your y-intercept. It's where it crosses the y-axis. So this is the value of b. So that's where you put a dot on the y-axis. So the first thing that you always graph is your y-intercept. The second thing that you're going to graph is your slope, using the idea of rise over run. The slope in this case is one fifth. This is your m. It's the coefficient on x. So if I ask you what the slope is, don't say one fifth x. No. It's supposed to be an anti symbol, okay? The slope is one fifth. It is the coefficient, it is the number in front of the variable that is the slope, okay? It doesn't contain the value x. It's just the number in front of it. Okay? So, first thing you do is the y-intercept. Negative 2. Bam, we got it. From there, rise 1, run 5. Rise 1, run 5. There's your dot, and then you draw your line. Okay? Now, in Delta Math, it'll draw it for you, but I'm just saying, okay? Put the... Put the y-intercept on first, then go up 1 over 5. Okay. <clears throat> this is your y-intercept. It's following this pattern. y equals mx plus b. Okay. If I erase that underneath there, I can put it there and you'll follow it right along. y equals mx plus b. Sorry, my m didn't look very good. Okay. So, the first thing that you always graph is your y-intercept. Your y-intercept, which in this case is negative 2. This is your y-intercept. So negative 2. Boom. Now the slope is the coefficient on x. Your slope is rise over run, and it's 2. Well, what's my run? Well, any number can be written over 1, and it still retains its value. So sometimes that's helpful to actually write the 1 in so that you can see it. You rise 2, run 1. Rise 2, run 1. Rise 2, run 1. Now, in Delta Math, it only lets you put one second point. It doesn't let you do all of these. I'm just doing it to illustrate the point. Okay? All right. A negative slope. Well, again, I'm saying the first thing you do is your y-intercept, which if we want to call it by what the equation is, a b, it's 1. So there's your y-intercept of 1. Second thing you do is your slope, which is rise over run, which in this case is negative 2, and just like the last one, when it was a whole number, I wrote it over 1. So rise run. Run is side to side, rise is up and down. If it's a negative number, it means you go down two units. The run is positive one, so I go over one. Down two over one. Down two over one. Down two over one. I'm just illustrating going down two and over one. Okay? Whoa, that was terrible. Don't look. Okay, avert your eyes. We'll go to the next one. All right.
y equals mx plus b. The first thing you do is your y-intercept, which is 4. So that's pretty easy. Boom. Now I need to talk to you a little bit about this. Your slope is negative 1 sixth. Where do you put the negative? Do they both get negative? No, because two negatives make a positive. It, positive 1 sixth is not the same as negative 1 sixth. You have a choice. You either put it upstairs or you put it downstairs. And I'll show you why it doesn't make a difference. It'll generate the same line. So the second thing you do is your slope. And if I do it the first time on top, remember, top is your rise and run. So that's how much you move up and down. The bottom is how much you move left and right. So if I go, if I have a, a rise of negative 1, that means I go down 1 and then write 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because it's a positive 6. If I use the definition of slope where it's 1 over negative 6, you would go up 1, back 6. But you see it lands on the same line. It forms the same line. Okay. Now, why would you ever want to do that? Well, let's say your y-intercept is here and you're using this definition, I can't go down one. There's no place to go. So I'd have to use this one where you'd go up one, back six, okay? And then draw my line. That's why sometimes you need to make the choice. Same thing would happen as if I'm up here. I can't use this one because I can't rise any place. I'd go off the graph. So I'd have to use this one where it's down one, right six, okay? <clears throat> All right, the last one to show you, sorry, I'm losing my voice, y equals mx plus b. It's, I'm sticking to my guns. The first thing you do is your y-intercept. So the y-intercept is 3. Now, when you look at this, you're like, well, wait a minute, the slope is nothing because there's nothing there. No, there's a 1 that's there. So your slope, whoops, slope is 1. And remember, you can always write it over 1, any whole number. Rise 1, run 1, rise 1, run 1, rise 1, run. So it's just this. And there's your line. Okay? This is your assignment in Delta Math. <clears throat> Thank you for your time. Have yourself a great one.